The God of Darkness is coming! Sort of. An asteroid named after the Egyptian god of darkness will be flying by Earth in 2029, and planetary scientists are saying it will have its surface dramatically altered due to the gravitational interaction between the two. Asteroid 99942 Apophis was first discovered in 2004, and the 335-meter-wide asteroid will miss us by about 32,000 kilometers. The most instant effect would be a series of short-term seismic shakings in the asteroid, and the next effect would be a change in its rotation. It'll be visible to the naked eye around April 2029, so mark your calendar to witness the God of Darkness. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. Thanks to a new technique using light, bubbles, and sound for rapid printing, doctors may one day be able to 3D print copies of your organs. These organ copies could support testing individualized therapies for cancer and other diseases. This innovative high-speed bioprinter was invented by biomedical engineers in Australia. It's 350 times faster than traditional methods and can position cells with precision and fabricate at the scale of a single cell. The printer projects light onto a resin bubble, which hardens it into the desired shape while speakers emit sound waves that shake the bubble, positioning individual cells into place. The tissue floating in resin makes it possible to print really delicate structures using softer materials than anything being currently used. The floating tissue can be printed directly into a vial, lab plate, or petri dish, increasing the cell's survival rate since it doesn't need to be physically handled. In the future, this this method could eliminate animal testing and be used for more targeted and ethical trials. And copy my liver! A team of MIT researchers have developed a miniature chip-based tractor beam that could one day help study DNA, classify cells, and investigate diseases. Using a system called an Integrated Optical Phased Array, the device is small enough to fit in the palm of your hand and uses a beam of light emitted by a silicon photonics chip to manipulate particles only 5 millimeters away from the surface. Since the light can penetrate the glass coverings that protect samples, cells remain in a sterile environment. By changing the wavelengths of the optical signals, researchers could steer the focused beam over a range larger than a millimeter and with micro-scale accuracy. This technique eliminates the use of bulky optical microscope setups and seems awesome. Tractor Beam There's a ghost at the bottom of the ocean. Scientists discovered the first known nudie branch of its kind living more than 2,200 meters below the surface of the Pacific Ocean in the bathypologic zone. Usually, nudie branches live at the bottom of shallow water, but this one was found in a water column lit by a bioluminescent glow. The creature had a foot like a sea slug, but also a large hood and fringed tail and glowed when they approached. On one occasion, they observed one of the tail tendrils glow while rotating and detaching itself, similar to a lizard dropping its tail when threatened by a predator. They saw the baffled devious use its large hood to capture food, using a mouth at the back of the hood to swallow the food. They also observed it laying eggs. Ghost eggs. For the first time, the frozen, mummified body of an over 35,000-year-old juvenile saber-toothed cat was found in the Arctic permafrost of Siberia. The kitten was just three weeks old at the time of its death, too young to have developed the distinct long upper canine teeth. Comparing it to a modern lion cub, the saber-toothed cat had an unusually shaped muzzle, small ears, large mouth, chunky neck, elongated forelimbs, and dark coat color, all adaptations to living in such cold climates. It belongs to the species which lived in Eurasia until 10,000 years ago, and is adorable. Proxy might actually be a really useful robot? The highly adaptable robot by Collaborative Robotics, known as Cobot, was built to solve real-world material movement challenges. It combines advanced AI, mobility, and modular manipulation systems to support human-robot collaboration. Some of its first customers include the Mayo Clinic, Moderna, Owens & Minor, and Tampa General Hospital. Proxy's hardware architecture is optimized for stability and balance, and its expressive eyes capture its surroundings from eye level. With its advanced AI, it's constantly learning, and its manipulator can engage with cart handles, boxes, and totes. 
Proxy's mobility platform allows it to glide through complex environments with ease, moving naturally around other robots and people. And they're not looking for Proxy to replace humans just to help them. Okay, this robot looks like it wants to replace humans. Figure 02 recently worked with BMW to show off its humanoid robot capabilities. On an operating line, Figure 02 achieved a 400% increase in speed and seven times higher success rate. Seven times higher than what? Who knows? It performs up to 1,000 placements a day, which will improve with more robots, collected data, and improved AI models. It needed to insert sheet metal into a pin pole less than a centimeter wide, and it was successfully tested at BMW Spartanburg plant, the first time BMW integrated a humanoid robot into its production line. They plan on deploying more humanoid robots into real-world environments by 2025, and Judgment Day comes in 2035. And now for a Laserdisc commercial featuring late legendary blind musician Ray Charles. Music video, I can't see it. If the music don't sound good, who cares what the picture looks like? Then Pioneer gives me their laser disc player. It's a video turntable that works with a laser beam, and that laser beam makes all the difference, they tell me. 